In this video, we're going to create and use an SSL client certificate to provide SSL authentication in an ASP.NET NBC web application. We are going to create a new certificate, install it locally, and configure it with IIS. So to start, I have an existing application called MyHR. I'm going to try running this in Internet Explorer. So this application loads without using SSL. I'm going to close this. Now look at the properties. For SSL enabled, set this value to true. Click on Save All. I'm going to give the SSL URL. So I'll copy that. And now I'm going to start Internet Explorer once again. So I'm going to click Yes to install the certificate locally. So I won't see a warning in the browser. I'm going to click Yes. So the non secure site loaded. Now I'm going to load the secure site. I will paste in the URL for the secure website and hit Enter. And as you can see, SSL is enabled. I'm going to close the browser. I'm going to use the developer command prompt to create my new certificate. So I have this open already. I'm going to go find the text that I used. I'm just going to copy this and I'll paste it in here and I'll hit enter. I need to enter a password. So I'm just going to type password. Password again. In real life, you'd probably want to use something besides password. I'm going to enter my private key password. I'm going to type password. Once again, you probably would not want to do that in real life. I'll type DIR, and I can see that I created a certificate. So next, I need to open MMC. I'm going to click on File, Add Remove Snap-in. I'm going to select Certificate. I'm going to click Add. And I'll just say Use the Computer Account. And I'll just say Local Computer. I'll click OK. I'm going to look at the list of certificates. I'm going to right click on Trusted Root Certification Authorities, click All Tasks, click Import, and I'll walk through the wizard. Click Next. For my file name, click Browse. I have my file that I just created under C Projects. Cert. And I'm going to select tempcr.cer and click Open. And I'll click Next. And I'll click Next again. And now I'm going to click Finish. We can take a look at our certificate. I'll click on Certificates. And I'll scroll down a little bit. And I see one that says Localhost. I'll click on that. We can see that this certificate is valid from 2017 to 2039. Here's some details. Here's the path. So since this certificate is in Trusted Root Certification Authorities, it will be trusted. So now I need to configure IIS. I'm going to click on Server Certificates. And the IIS Express Development Certificate is already registered. And it's issued to localhost and it's issued by localhost. Now I need to configure my bindings. So click on localhost. Click on bindings. Click add. I'm going to select HTTPS. For my SSL certificate, I'm going to select IIS Express Development Certificate and click OK. I'm going to click Close. And now I'm going to look at MyHR in Internet Explorer. So now MyHR is running on IIS. I can click on Home and About. I'm going to try to go to the secure site. I'll open a new tab and I'll type HTTPS localhost MyHR. The MyHR web application is now running on IIS using an SSL certificate. In this video, we created and used an SSL client certificate to provide SSL authentication in an ASP.NVC web application. We created a new SSL certificate, registered it locally, and then we configured IIS to use the new certificate.